Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is what we're gonna work with. I just washed my hair. I'm trying to do the pre-travel beauty preparations, as I'll call it right now. If you're new to the channel, hi. Hello, my name is Frugina or Effie, one's a nickname and Frugina is my real Hungarian name. I do psychology kind of content, lifestyle and vlogs just like this one, just like a mixture between lifestyle and vlogs. We are going to London tomorrow, I would say morning, but it's super early in the morning. We have a 6 a.m. flight. It's actually a funny story why and how we're going to London but I'm gonna spare you the details so we're gonna go for two days and I'm always seeing these pack with me kind of videos and I have to admit that I'm horrible about packing not like my boyfriend is he is just so used to traveling back and forth for like I think more than 10 years and uh, I think I'm good for like longer travels but like short travels I needed to look something up on the internet and as I always do I went on to Pinterest to find like a checklist I'm such a list kind of girl I don't know how about you let me show you what I got right now oh so he's about to come home any moment he went home to visit his mom so I was here alone last night, which sucked. I just got used to him so much that he's here. This is the checklist that I did. I have essentials, electronics, entertainment, personal items, extra items, clothes, health and food. And I also have pre-travel to-dos. One of the things is that I have to decide on an outfit. I'm not taking a huge bag, I'm just taking a, a backpack. Not a lot of space, but it's also like there's not really much that I need. I just want like a really basic outfit. I just cannot decide if I should wear boots because I have my cream boots or my cream sneakers because I got this coat from my boyfriend. Well, we are gonna have some cold weather, but this is what the jacket looks like. It's cream, it comes up until here. It's super warm, I've been wearing it for a few days and one thing that I'm really happy about, where is it? It has a pocket. And also this, I don't know how this is cold, but it's like an extra layer just inside, so I don't get cold. I'm a person who gets cold super easily. We're gonna be walking a lot, so I don't know if I should wear this. I was also thinking about wearing my Reebok shoes or these sneakers that I already put out. Yeah, I'm just not sure. This is the bag that we're gonna be taking. And what I always do is bring a smaller handbag with myself. So we get there around 7.40 London time. There is like an hour time difference between Budapest and London. We get there and then we're gonna have to wait to catch a train to go into London. I really wanna go to Greenwich. We don't have many plans. I do have a list about that as well. I've been to London twice, but there are still some places which I would love to visit or just like go back. So it's like some new and like some old. So I would love to go to Greenwich and we can only go to our Airbnb at 3 p.m. So until then I'm gonna have to carry that big bag, but at night I can use this to go out so I don't have to take all my stuff with me. Wednesday morning we have to check out I think by 10 or 11 and our flight back is at, I don't know, sometime after 9. So we're gonna be here in Budapest at like 1 in the morning and I am working on Thursday. So that's gonna be lovely, but thank goodness for home office. Okay, let's just start. As for the passport, I already have it there. My keys, hmm, funny story. My boyfriend left yesterday, as I told you, and he took my keys as well. So I was not able to go out today at all. It's not like I really wanted to, and also I was working. <laughs> yeah, it would have been nice to order some food. Okay, my wallet is already there, I had it. I don't have pounds in cash, but I do have in Hungarian foreign, so I have that as well. And I did put a pen 
in my mango bag the smaller bag and i have my id in my wallet so i think we're good i just need my keys <laughs> from my boyfriend don't really want to overdo the electronics part so this is the pouch that i have my boyfriend is gonna bring a camera because he is a photographer and a videographer as well which is so cool so i hope that we will be able to take like good photos that's also why i really want to have like a nice outfit i mean you guys know that i love to have nice outfits in which i feel confident and comfortable but um anyways so one thing that i always always do is have this actually this one i did get in it was either northampton or in london this is a power bank so i can use this for my phone or my airpods so i'm just gonna bring this this is a charger that i need and my airpods amazing i just need 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 music on the airplane but we're gonna talk about this later obviously i have my phone i'm filming on it so crossing that out i put chargers i do need my charger for my phone i got my airpods and my power bank cool okay entertainment download the movie on netflix okay so let's talk about flying anxiety if you will let me tell you a really really short story when i think i was around four or five we went to egypt obviously i was a four or five so i don't really remember much but when you're a kid and i learned this at university under the age of five if something really extreme happens to you usually you can remember that so kids don't usually remember a lot of things they don't have the same sense of time as um, adults have yet it just hasn't developed yet they don't know like the concept of time either what i can remember from that trip is that when we were coming back from egypt i remember the plane going up and i was sitting by the window i remember seeing that the i have no idea what the name is for that part of the plane but um it exploded it, it started burning so i remember seeing under the right wing of the plane like flames and like smoke coming out we had a wonderful pilot obviously because we were able to um, land and like go back and we were transferred to another plane with all our packages and we were able to safely come home but what i remember is that the plane was going like this so we were like going forward but like slowly downwards as well so the plane had to like come back and then land so obviously i was five as i said and I don't really remember flying again only until I was like 14 when was the first time when I went to London with my dad but I think that was the um, the next time when when I was flying and I just got really anxious I remember plus I was I had a fever at that time we were in London for like three or four days I believe as I said I was like 14 it was just not <laughs> the best experience unfortunately as a kid who really really wanted to go to london i'm really happy i can go back but circling back to flying anxiety i definitely have that and especially now that i am about to have my period i'm just freaking out because i don't really want to get it before the flight also please don't mind our clothes drying in the background we had to do like two other oh the boyfriend is here Two other loads of washing because um, my boyfriend bought some new stuff and he wanted to bring those to London so we had to do the washing anyways I don't know what's gonna happen I know that I'm gonna take some ibuprofen with me for sure maybe I haven't had my period yet because I'm just stressing so much about the flight so we will see back to the list figure out the outfit because as for the entertainment, I only wrote down download the movie on Netflix or like a series. I just rewatched The Bold Type on Netflix, but I'm gonna circle that. That I need to find a movie or something because we're not gonna be sitting together with the boyfriend. Anyways, I'm gonna say hi to him. Okay, the boyfriend is home and he got me a chimney cake. I guess I have my dinner now. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've got the cameras. Really nice. And my flying attire, which I haven't showed you yet. Drony drone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, I dried my hair, kind of. I will style it later. Babe, I need your hand in something. Maybe we should first decide which shoes. These, not the white ones, and, wow, not, and not the cream shoes. Actually, that might get wet. Anything and everything will get wet. It's gonna be, it's gonna be raining. I could take the boots, but I don't think that's gonna, I mean, they are comfy, but not as comfy as like sneakers. Sneakers then. And black jeans. And I'm black jeans. I don't like to feel uncomfortable on planes. I'm already uncomfortable in the inside because of the anxiety that I have most of the time. So I really just want to be in comfy clothes. So I think I'm gonna wear um, the black leggings that I usually wear. Yeah, and I think then a sports bra. I like a white top let me show you okay so this is what i put out yesterday i started this process yesterday night i have some cool socks which are really long so i'm not gonna be cold i have this white plain top i really don't want to do like a whole fashion show kind of thing i really just want it to be functional and that i don't get cold and comfortable yeah and anyways i think whatever we're ugh, ugh. And anyway, <laughs> and anyway, you only for the contribution. So, anyways, what? Oh my god, I'm gonna have my coat on, so you're not gonna be, and I'm not gonna be able to see like what is under. So, I really just need it to be warm and functional and comfortable. I have these plain black sports bra kind of things and my yoga pants so this is gonna be comfy and stretchy not the warmest but that's okay and i figured that when we land where are we landing luton luton airport uh where the last time when i was there i almost couldn't get onto the plane but that's another story so i figured that uh, i can just change on the like in the airport in a bathroom or something like that and then I can switch into my jeans. That's it for the outfit for the plane. Okay, so let's tackle clothes. As for PJs, I'm just gonna take a huge t-shirt. I got this t-shirt. If you guys didn't know when I was 13 and ever since then I was a huge Avery Levine fan. So I got this merch from her. It's her Canadian tour in 2022. I'm sure that this is like a copy of the merch. Got the black jeans, cardigan. I'm going in a white top, taking the black top. Got the hat. Do I need a scarf? I don't need a scarf. No, I don't think I need a scarf. Do I need a scarf, babe? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Clothes are ready, which is like the second hardest part. Sneakers are boots. I'm going with the sneakers, back leggings. All well, the flight is done. Cream coat is out there. Waxing done, washing hair done. Paint my nails. I may or may not do that. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna wait for the food, eat, and then probably pack all these later because I still wanna use a few of those skincare items. It's uh, around 7.30. We got back from the shops. It was pretty quick. I just needed some pads, to be honest, because I was out and I got some juice for the morning. And uh, we decided to get the car service this morning. I mean, tomorrow morning. Because, yeah, my cramps are getting worse. My boyfriend asked me like twice if I really want to go, but yes, I want to go. I took a ibuprofen. So hopefully it's gonna help ease the pain, but I still have so much to do. Now comes the part which I really, really don't like, which is packing toiletries. I'm gonna use these two, I think. And I have talked about this in my last vlog in 2022. I know I don't seem cheerful. I am happy that we're going. I'm just low energy because I am in a lot of pain. And these are see-through little bottles and like containers. So I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this CeraVe micellar water. Oh, I think this should do it. 
cute. Then I'm gonna pack my deodorant, mini toothpaste. So cute. <laughs> this is gonna be enough for both of us. I got this um, container thingy for my toothbrush, hand sanitizer. I think I'm gonna put this separately in my bag. For the morning, we need a morning cream. Yeah. As I was saying, I started using this uh, morning cream from Zaya. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the goat's milk um, concentrated moisturizing day cream with SPF 20. I've been loving it so much. I'm gonna put a little bit in this small like 5 milliliter container. These are so cute. This package is from Flying Tiger by the way. In here. I think this is gonna be enough. Cleansing foam. I talked about these products, by the way, in one of my last vlogs. I honestly don't remember which one. I've been so good with my vlog game. I'm so happy. And you guys seem really happy with the videos too, so I'm happy and thank you. So we're gonna put this CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser to use. Maybe I can just pump it in there. It's just not great. I think I'm gonna do my makeup in the morning there. I really don't wanna have makeup on in the morning. So I'm gonna put the contour palette in here. This is the Revolution Pro Sculpt and Glow Contour Palette. My eyelash curler, brow gel. This is from Alverda. Brush one, two. Yeah, I really wanna take these two masks because as everyone knows who has ever traveled on a plane it really gets your face dehydrated it's not gonna be a long flight it's like two hours and 40 minutes or two and a half hours or something like that from Budapest to London I really want to put this in here but I don't think I have the confidence to put it on um, right next to strangers and just have this whole sheet mask on and be like I'm chilling at like a 6 a.m. flight yes yeah we're gonna sit next to each other on the flight back. I'm so happy. Anyways, I'm gonna take these, but um, I don't think I'm gonna have the confidence to do that. Maybe on the flight back, now that I'm sitting next to my boyfriend. New mascara that I got, really, really good. I love it. Got the under eye concealer, and I think that's about it. I'm not like a huge makeup girly on the regular, so I think this is gonna be enough. I have my Carmax with me, both of them. And maybe I will take this as well. I've been using it for so long that none of the writings are on there. I think I got this last summer. Perfume, Lightly Bloom from Zara. Got it from the boyfriend for Christmas. Got my boarding pass in the wallet. Assembling time. So we're gonna twist everything up and that's how I'm gonna fit everything. I'm getting close to the end. I know it's gonna be raining, I said it a thousand times, but I'm gonna take sunglasses just in case. And the bag is pretty good. Like it's only packed until here. I'm planning to take back a few things. One of my best friend's birthday is gonna be in February. So this is the book that I'm taking. Got this electrolyte drink for the morning and this is the juice kind of thing that I got for the morning as well. This is gonna be my brekkie. The book is packed, still need to download a, a movie. I need my phone chargers and my keys. Packed ibuprofen, not taking vitamins. I'm gonna take them in the morning. Ooh, band-aids. I'm gonna put you guys up here actually because bending over is not the best right now. I got these ginger teas, which are sugar-free and they're like instant teas so you just need to add hot water to them i have no idea what's going to be available at the rbmb but uh we will see if we get really thirsty and we want something hot to drink in the morning umbrella question mark makeup bag is done skincare bag is done toothbrush not yet okay no slippers then only because i really want some space in my bag but we both know i'm gonna fit some stuff my boyfriend's bag. I think we did great, guys. I think we are good. So that's done. So I still need Three to keep. Huh? Three o'clock. It sounds horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> 
he has the black <laughs> charcoal face mask on. <laughs> Cannot take him seriously like that. But I'm grateful that he's taking care of his skin. I think that is it, you guys. Finally, the painkillers kicked in. So that's great. And I think we're good. I am obviously gonna charge my phone. So I still need to put away my phone chargers. But that is it. I hope that this was somewhat enjoyable hopefully you enjoyed and i will see you guys on the flip side as i said i don't know how much i'm gonna be vlogging but i do have a concept we will see if you enjoyed though please uh, subscribe down below if you haven't already and give it a like because that really supports my channel we've been growing the community has been growing i'm so happy on my Instagram as well and here on YouTube as well a few of you have sent me some really lovely DMs so I'm really grateful for you guys you have no idea so thank you thank you thank you thank you and I will see you guys really really soon please pray for me on the flight I think I'm gonna give it a high five when we board I think you're supposed to like caress the plane or like put your hand on there so like nothing happens we will see all right I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you soon And then I'm gonna head to bed shortly. Bye Woohoo! London, baby!